Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Most top load washer repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the power cord. Insert a putty knife under the control panel to release the two spring clips securing the panel. You can now pull the panel forward to access the control board, selector switches, or the water inlet valve. If you need to replace the control board, note the orientation of the switch wire connectors on the board, then disconnect them. Disconnect the power wire connector as well. You can use a flathead screwdriver or pliers to release the wire bracket and retainer. Detach the air pressure tube. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the two mounting screws securing the control board. Remove the center main control selector knob. You can now lift the control board assembly up to detach it from the panel. Prepare the new control board assembly for installation by transferring the wire retaining bracket from the old assembly to the new one. Align the control board tab with the slot in the panel and position the board. Thread the screws to secure. Replace the selector knob. Connect all of the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals on the new board. Secure the wires as necessary. Attach the air pressure tube to the board. Realign the control panel on the upper rear panel, making sure the tabs are inserted into the slots in the main top. Push the control panel down to snap the spring clips into place. To replace components like the drive motor, drain pump, and run capacitor, you'll need to set the appliance on its rear panel. Before you do this, shut off the water supply and remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Release the retaining clamp and detach the drain hose from the outlet hose mounting flange. Use tape to secure the washer lid. Now carefully tip the washer back so it rests on its rear panel. If you need to replace the drive motor, use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the belt guard. Detach the guard and disconnect the drive motor wire connector. Next, remove the drive belt. Using a half inch socket, Unthread the motor mounting screws and remove the motor. Install the new motor by positioning it on the gear case. Then thread and tighten the mounting screws to secure. Replace the belt.
Connect the wire connector. Reposition the belt guard and secure it with the screws. Return the appliance to its upright position. To uninstall the washer's inner tub, first use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the wiring harness and tube guard and remove the guard. Next, unthread the rear screws securing the main top to the cabinet. Slide the main top forward to release. Now lift the top up, making sure the rear cabinet tabs are inserted into the slots in the top. Make sure the main top is securely supported. Now use a small flathead screwdriver to release the tabs to remove the tub cover. Pry off the fabric softener dispenser or cap and use a 7 16 inch socket with an extension to unthread the agitator mounting bolt. Lift out the agitator. Use a spanner wrench and hammer to loosen the tub nut by rotating it counterclockwise. Unthread the nut. You can now lift out the inner tub. If you need to fully remove the outer tub, loosen and lift off the drive block from the drive shaft. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the pump cover and remove the cover. Release the support. Lower the main top and slide it into position. Replace at least one of the rear screws to secure the top. Now tip the washer back so it rests on its rear panel. Release the drain pump wire cover. Disconnect the wire connector and unhook the wire from the retaining clip. Release the spring clamp securing the hose to the pump and pull off the hose. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the drain pump mounting screws. With the screws unthreaded, remove the pump. Disconnect the wire connectors from the run capacitor, the shift actuator, and the drive motor. Detach the two wiring harness retainers from the gear case. Use a 10 mm socket to unthread the mounting screws, securing the gear case assembly to the outer tub. Carefully remove the gear case assembly. Now release the remaining wire harness retainers near the bottom of the tub. Return the appliance to its upright position. Remove the rear screw and lift up the main top. Unthread the screws securing the air pressure tube and wiring harness retainers. Detach the air pressure tube from the tub port. Release the remaining wire harness retainer from the tub. 
Now lift up the suspension rods and rotate the ball supports to detach them from the rods. You can now lift out the outer tub. Before you replace or reinstall the tub, make sure the suspension rods are properly positioned and hook the rods on the edge of the tub to keep them in place. With the drain hole properly aligned, position the tub in the cabinet. After confirming that the bushings are intact in the support braces, lift the suspension rods through the bushings and attach the ball supports. Snap the wire harness retainer into place on the tub. Attach the air pressure tube to the tub port. Secure the tub and wiring harness retainers. Lower the main top and replace a screw to secure. Now tip the washer back. Attach the three wiring harness retainers to the lower portion of the outer tub. If necessary, apply some grease to the tub seal and slide the seal onto the drive shaft. Now position the gear case assembly on the outer tub. Thread the mounting screws loosely to secure. Then tighten all of the screws. Snap the remaining wire harness retainers into the gear case. Connect the wire connectors for the drive motor, shift actuator, and the run capacitor. Position the drain pump on the tub, then thread the screws to secure. Attach the hose to the pump and secure it with the clamp. Connect the wire connector. Secure the wire under the retaining clip and close the cover. Tip the appliance upright. Continue the reassembly by lifting up the main top and supporting it. Replace the pump cover and secure it with the screw. Confirm that the existing drive block is free of any damage and slide it onto the drive shaft. If the drive block is stripped, you should replace it with a new one. Realign the inner tub on the drive block. Thread the tub nut clockwise. Use the spanner wrench and hammer to tighten. Realign the agitator on the drive shaft. Insert the mounting bolt then thread and tighten the bolt to secure.
Snap on the dispenser or cap. Making sure the tub cover is properly aligned with the bleach dispenser, snap the cover into place. Lower the main top and slide it into position. Rethread the rear screws. Remove the tape securing the lid. Reposition the wiring harness and tube guard and rethread the screw to secure. Attach the drain hose to the outlet hose and secure it with the clamp. Reattach the hot and cold water supply lines. With the appliance fully reassembled, turn the water supply back on. Plug the power cord back in. And your washer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.